Hi, I'm Nick Moran, BTO's training manager. BTO's Garden Birdwatch produces quarterly results and these reveal interesting stories about our garden wildlife. We're going to take a look at the results from July to October and some of the possible reasons for the stories that have come out during that period. One of the standout stories of summer 2022 were lower than usual counts of great spotted woodpeckers during August. Garden bird numbers do normally drop in the summer and that's because of birds going into molt so they're becoming much more secretive and harder to see and also because there's an abundance of wild food available so they don't need to take advantage of resources in gardens. However, the counts of great spotted woodpecker during August were even lower than we'd normally expect for that time of year. This could be because of the record-breaking heat wave. These conditions were ideal for pine trees to create a large crop of seeds. And great spotted woodpeckers, as our most herbivorous woodpecker, might have been lured out of gardens by this glut of food. Hummingbird hawk moths are one of our most striking insect visitors to gardens. These large colourful moths hover in front of flowers to drink their nectar. And if you get one in your garden, it's a, it's a really impressive sight. This year has seen record numbers of hummingbird hawk moths in gardens, four times higher, in fact, than the previous best year, which was 2019. The numbers were high throughout spring and summer, but they peaked in August and September. This could be due to a couple of key factors. Milder winters might have led to more overwintering adult hummingbird hawk moths so that there were more in the UK to breed at the start of this spring. And then the other thing is this moth is a strong migrant and we had a long period of southerly airflow coming up from the med which could well have brought a lot more of these moths to the UK in the summer. Goldfinch is one of our garden success stories. In the 1980s, very few gardens would have recorded them. But then niger seed and sunflower hearts became popular as a garden bird food and goldfinches really took advantage of those. They're now one of the top 10 most recorded garden birds. However, there's been a slight drop in goldfinch numbers during 2022. There are various possible reasons for this. So goldfinches have been doing so well that they might have reached a sort of natural capacity. We expect fluctuations in bird populations year on year, so that could be driving this slight drop. Weather and food availability are part of this story too. So if you get a particularly dry or wet or hot or cold or windy period during a breeding season, that might have an effect on the birds' populations. And then another reason is trichomonosis. This is the disease that's occasionally reported in goldfinch uh, and might be having an effect on their numbers. And that's a useful point to, to remember, which is if you do find any sick birds, please report them to Garden Wildlife Health. Hopefully now many of you will be finding your gardens busier with birds as the winter progresses. And thank you, a huge thank you to all of you who have submitted data from your gardens. Without the information that you provide, we simply wouldn't know how our garden birds are faring.